Personally, I'm impressed with the movement on the master jumper. However, what's up people, welcome to my channel. The recent Frank Miller Long Island Evolution series isn't just a new release. It is an embodiment of style and technical know-how fusing both tradition and modernity in three unique timepieces. The Master Jumper, the Giga Tourbillon and the 7 Days Power Reserve, catering to the three different groups of watch collectors who appreciate the different aspects of watch collecting, the avant-garde, the orthodox and the pragmatic. A couple of weeks ago, I reviewed the 7 Days Power Reserve. For pragmatic collectors, you will probably prefer this among the three. It's the smallest among the three, has a low-key time-only watch design and has a whopping 7 days of power reserve. If you've missed that video, do check out the link in the description below. Today, we'll be talking about the Master Jumper and the Giga Turbion. Let's start with the Turbion. I don't know about you, but my first impression of the design on the Giga Turbion reminds me of a Mayan or an African tribal mask. Can you unsee that now? In this huge rectangular shaped design watch, that is all brush finish, it has an open work dial showcasing Frank Muller's technical know-how in creating a massive tourbillon taking up around 55% of the entire dial. Spinning like a turbine engine and rocking the wow effect with absolute pleasure to the eyes. Nope, this is not the largest tourbillon. That title goes to Cabinda's Maximus Tourbillon. And I digress. Apart from the tourbillon, the dial also features two barrels with bridges holding the jewels forming the eyes of this face. I know, I'm ruining it for you again, am I? The hour and minute hands are then placed off-center with loom on them. In between and above the two barrels is a tila. The power reserve is also loom and it indicates a 100 hours. The bridges are all nicely brushed with some parts of the bevel receiving a polished finishing. If you're wondering, the FM2111 TL caliber is a manual winding movement. The case back isn't much to look at. The strap here is an alligator strap with rubber inlay with a double folding clasp. The crystal used on both front and back are all sapphire crystal and this is limited to 8 pieces only. Because of the way it looks, I dub this as Gimli in the Lord of the Rings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do check out my reference in the Long Island 7 Days Power Reserve video. The Long Island Master Jumper looks more like an Aragon since it is perhaps the more popular and well-received model. It has a slightly smaller dimension compared to the Giga Turbion, however, it is still a pretty large watch measuring at these dimensions. At first glance, you probably think that this is a digital watch. And that is exactly what it is. Displaying digital numerals with three windows arranged vertically down the center. The top window uses one disc to display the hour, whereas the minute window in the center and the date at the bottom utilizes two separate discs. All five discs and their driving wheels are visible from the front, supported by a bridge with machine cutouts. The cool thing about this timepiece is that not only can you see the open work movement at the front, but the technical indications are also displayed on the dial. These wordings are printed on the inner sapphire crystal on the inner bezel level, further giving a three-dimensional depth to the timepiece. The outer sapphire crystal is curved following the contour of the case. Unlike the Giga Turbion, when you turn this watch around, you will see the FM3100L manual winding movement in its full glory. Although this only has a 30 hours of power reserve, powering the numerical display demands substantial energy, which is why a double barrel system is employed. The first barrel positioned at the top drives the hour and minute disc, while the second barrel located at the bottom powers the movement and date disc. The dual barrel setup provides enough torque for instantaneous jumps. The bridges here are all machine polish. This too has an alligator strap with rubber inlay that is attached to the case using screws. It too has a double folding clasp. So there you have it, a rundown on the Frank Muller Long Island Evolution series. So which among the three do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below. Personally, I'm impressed with the movement on the Master Jumper. 
However, because it is on a larger side, I think the 7 days power reserve is a better fit for my wrist. Anyway, if you like this kind of videos, please hit that like, subscribe and bell icon to support my channel and I promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.